History was made this week at the United Nations as President Mahmoud Abbas delivered the Palestinian bid for statehood, uh, receiving a standing ovation as he addressed the General Assembly. A cheering crowds gathered in Ramallah to give him a hero's welcome as he did arrive back from New York. Uh, addressing the rally, he declared the beginning of the Palestinian Spring. When he spoke to the UN Assembly on Friday, jubilant scenes played out across the Palestinian territories, but words quickly turned to violence on the West Bank border culminating in clashes between police and Palestinians. Adi's Paula Slia has this story. An historic moment after decades of struggle. Tens of thousands celebrate across Palestine after President Mahmoud Abbas submits a request to the United Nations to recognize a Palestinian state. But as feared, it wasn't all cheers. Alongside the celebrations, violence. Clashes have erupted across the West Bank as fears grow of a third intifada. We are here in Ramallah where there's a standoff between the Israeli army and Palestinian protesters just a short distance down the road. There are tires burning everywhere. The army is also using a new sound device known as the screamer, which emits unbearable sound. Now the situation here is very, very tense. The clashes have spread across the West Bank. One Palestinian has been killed. Now what we understand happened is that some 200 Israeli settlers started burning the trees belonging to Palestinians in the village. The army was called in and the result was one Palestinian shot and killed in the neck. For months, the Israeli army has been preparing for these exact scenes. And Palestinians worry Tel Aviv will now use these clashes as an excuse to beef up its army presence in the West Bank and possibly even punish Palestinians by withholding tax money it collects on their behalf. For weeks, the army has been planting landmines on Israel's northern borders to prevent the Kalandia checkpoint scenes from unfolding here. The mines are not necessarily there to deal with people who have peaceful intentions, but mines are a legitimate form of defense. Uh, many countries have mines on their borders for that reason. But locals are outraged. Now they are trying to put uh, mines to kill people. It, it, maybe it's more comfort for the Israelis to kill people by mines uh, more than uh, shooting them. At the heart of the clashes are Israeli settlers and Palestinians, both laying claim to the same piece of...